this this will we'll start with this is from san antonio's sports bar is that what this is hold on sports star okay uh spurs fans the time is now or never wimby is here um okay so we listened to a little bit of this maybe what like five minutes ago like maybe like 10 15 seconds of it i don't remember um i already forget but he said something in the lines of it's time to win now so we'll see i, I don't know if i agree or disagree with this Hey Spurs fans, I got to talk to you real quick about expectations. Don't sit and wait. This is not about next year, Spurs fans. It's about right now. Wimby is here. You've got four other dudes that are ready to play. Season vets are here. There are pieces. But if we go into this season thinking, oh, playoffs next year, no. This is a playoff caliber team. The talent has shown. Keldon, this is your year. It's either now or never. Devin, you got paid. You're going to have to do it. And Wimby, the promises are here. It's time to pay the piper. There's no waiting. The process is a four-letter word we need playoffs now we've done it before twice in fact we have done it so Wimby the expectations are here you can do it we expect it now you got to put it on paper what do you guys think tell me about it tomorrow on r and R. I, I I like I like the sentiment <laughs> I, but I completely disagree as far as this being a playoff caliber team um chat how do you feel about this I don't think this is a playoff team um, I don't think they're a playoff caliber team. I don't know. Maybe scrape in through the play-in, possibly. I mean, that just started existing like three years ago. Um, I don't know. I, I think as far as us being like a playoff caliber team, I think of a team that anything can happen. Um, you can go deep in the playoffs, maybe in the mid playoffs or whatever. I feel like scraping into the playoffs, I don't know if that's necessarily playoff caliber. I, I, I don't know. First round exits, I don't know. I, I guess. I guess technically you're a playoff team. I don't know. Um, Anyways, but honestly, I, I, I don't think that they're a playoff team. You said it's not. I don't think it's a playoff caliber team. Um, you might Some people might have different opinions on that. So it's not that I think that the team is bad. It's just that... It's too many pieces we got to try to figure out right now, right? You got Blake Wesley, in which we have no idea what's going to go on with there. We don't know if he will be a point guard for the future. He will definitely get more minutes this season. Uh, Malachi Branham's going to be coming into his own. I think he'll make a huge jump for sure. Uh, Devin Fasale, he's going to more than likely get even more touches. And he's coming off of an injury from last season, you know, being in and out and whatnot. Uh, so... You know, it's going to take him some time to, to get his his motor going. Uh, Victor Wimbanyama. I mean, even though we expect him to be a superstar, possibly one of the best players of all time, if, if he can, you know, bring it, bring everything together. Uh, but even with Wimby, we don't necessarily know. Right now, I think that he's going to take more of the not passive approach, but facilitation role. I'm just one of the guys. Uh, let me get it to my teammates, allow the game to come to me. I don't think that he'll just be able to take over. Um, and, and I don't know if he'll be superstar caliber year one. I do think that he'll be the best player on the team, you know, by a few games, I, you know, a few games into the season, maybe, maybe a few weeks into the season. I think that people will see like without a doubt. Yeah. He's the best player on the team. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know there. Keldon Johnson. I feel like we know exactly what he is. I know Keldon said that he can be a better defender. Pop said that he needs to take more pride in defense or the team as a whole. He didn't like just talk strictly about Keldon but I mean he kind of talked around it but yeah so Keldon Johnson defensively there's an expectation that he'll be better defensively I don't know the case there I, I never thought Keldon was really great at defense because he's just slightly flat-footed um, but but as far as what he does he's fine like he's 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 a good player um, really really good uh, role player uh, that is so I, I just don't necessarily know though if this is we don't even know who's going to be the starting point guard as far as are we going to go with Jeremy Sohan? We're going to go with Trey Jones. It's going to be a lot of experimenting. And this is going to be a season for trying to win, but also experimenting. It doesn't feel like a playoff caliber season, does it? I, I And I know it hasn't started yet, but it's, it just doesn't feel like a playoff caliber. Hey, the, this is the, I mean, it's the goal, but it, it doesn't seem like it's, it just doesn't seem like a reality to me that this is going to be a playoff team. I, I just don't know. Um, is, is that just me? It's a 20 win team plus Wimby. So I'd say 30 wins. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. 
So I, I hate doing these, but yeah, I would probably agree with you. There's probably like a 30 win team, um, maybe 33, 34, 35, maybe. Let me see, NBA standings, we'll do 20, 22, 23, and we'll see who's scraping into the playoffs. We'll do it in the West. Dude, I don't know, guys. I mean, we could possibly, tr like, yeah, yeah, you can't even be a 500 team. I, I, do we really see the Spurs being a 500 team this season? Pelicans didn't make it. You see, the Timber, I don't know. I don't think so, though. Around 500. You re really? 40 best case scenario roughly below four, 500 that's what i'm thinking i think there will be below 500 i think if I, i'm gonna go with 35 wins 35 wins that's slightly below 500 that's what i would go with i i just don't think that they're good enough to make the playoffs i think that's a pretty bold statement i mean i like the optimism and i do agree with the sentiment like yes you need to try to win now it's nothing wrong with that this season okay last season i was team tank all right and everyone that was on my side for Team Tank, we were absolutely correct. Uh, <laughs> and it was totally fine for us wanting to lose. But now, yeah, you go for the wins and whatnot. And we're pretty set. We're pretty set. Like, I don't think this team as is constructed right now is a playoff team, championship team, or nothing like that. But, hey, you get uh, the Toronto Raptors pick next season. It's protected one through six, so more than likely it'll convey. And it's one through six for three consecutive seasons. So if it doesn't go into this season, 2025, I believe is a better draft from what I hear. I know nothing about 2026. Um, and then in 2025, we also have Atlanta's that's unprotected. So we're good. Like, as far as picks, the Spurs are good. Now, at the end of the day, obviously, our pick is probably the most valuable, but we don't really have time to worry about that we got our guy you just you just go about you just go about it you could probably get some stars uh in the future whether it be through free agency or in these uh, lottery picks that we're going to get i would not by any means give up uh the atlanta hawks pick i, I saw someone say something in the lines of when true holiday was available like oh why don't we just trade away that pick and get true i was like why well what's the point here i i don't understand that um yeah but i think right now you focus on winning trying to help these guys learn how to win and i think 30 plus games is is good is good um and then you're outside of the playoffs you'll get a really nice pick along with the other picks that you have in the draft we're great um so yeah you can you can have your cake and eat it too you don't necessarily have to be a playoff team for this team to like learn how to learn how to win it's only wimby's first year and no one knows what he's going to be. We we have assumptions that, hey, he's going to be like a Kevin Durant type player and whatnot. Some people say uh, Abdul Jabbar. Some people say a, a combination of the two. We don't know. We'll wait and see. It's going to be fun. But I don't think that we'll see full-fledged great Wimbanyama this season. We'll see a lot of snippets of Wimby going off and like games where it's like, oh my God, where did that come from? But I don't think we'll like have Wimby come in and make this a playoff team year one. The West is hard. The NBA is hard. I, I just don't think that'd be the case. I mean, look, look at the, I mean, the, the freaking, the freaking Mavericks on paper. There's no reason they shouldn't have been in the playoffs, right? Like on paper. Let's see. Can we see the Mavericks roster? I mean, look, this alone, if someone said, yeah, Luka Doncic teamed up with Kyrie, everyone would be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's a playoff. They, they, they're they going to scrape into the playoffs, right? Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> they don't have too many weapons. I really like Jaden Hardy, by the way. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I do want to know what you guys think about it. Um, but those are, those are my thoughts. I don't think this is a playoff team. Uh, but hey, shoot for the playoffs. That, that's what you do. You shoot for the playoffs.